Hey everyone, welcome back to new content of Cybrosis. In today's video, we will discuss about budget management in Odoo 18 accounting module. To manage with the budget management in Odoo 18 accounting module, first we just need to configure this feature. To do so, you just need to navigate into the configuration settings of accounting module where you have to enable this feature that is a budget management that only you can manage the budget in your accounting software so the primary goal of the budget management is to plan and track the financial control of an organization by defining a period so you can easily create and manage a budget for a department or a project by uh, allocating uh, the target and uh, by defining a period so this would allow you to monitor the real-time performances of the money that is spent against a project or department and this also allow you to generate a report for the visualization of the insights of the financial performances of the organization so let's see how can we manage the budget in Odoo 18 accounting module so let's see that we know the analytic budget tracks specific activities and projects using analytic accounts helping the business make informed decisions about specific departments projects or other group of transactions in contrast financial budget are tied to the general ledger accounts that appears on the profit and losses and focus on the company's overall economic positions so let's see how can we enable the analytic budget and we know analytic budget allow for allocating and track the income and expenses in detail, breaking down the cost and revenues by specific project or group transactions. Analytic budget can be applied across uh, departments or project to measure the profitability and performances. So Odo manages analytic budget using analytic accounting. To activate the option for creating analytic budget, let's move to the accounting app and from there move to the configuration settings and enable budget management under the analytic section. So let's drag down and here we can find the option called uh, uh, budget management. This use the budget to compare the actual with the expected revenue and cost. So it is important to structure budget using plans and accounts which must be configured before creating the budget so let's see how can we create the plans the analytic plan allow you to analyze your accounting for example that allow you to track the cost and revenue by project or department so to manage with the um, analytic plans you can um, first enable the analytic accounting over here afterwards under the configuration we can find the analytic accounting so here you can see that the analytic uh, plans and from there we can just create different plans. For the time when I would like to choose a plan over here. In this field we have to provide the name and in the second field we can link the parent and here you can also find the default applicability and all. We have already done on what is analytic accounting in Odoo. So if you have any doubt regarding uh, what is analytic accounting in Odoo 18 you can just watch that video. And we can also set the app applicability that is the domain um, like the invoices the uh, winter bill and all so once that's done the next step is that we also just need to consider the analytic account that to be included under this analytic plan so let's move on to the uh, analytic accounts and you can see that we have just created a uh, different analytic accounts such as uh, home constructions and renovations so under this the uh, amount will be marked and in this case uh, you can see that uh, uh, when we just create the accounts that can be linked to a plan and we have already linked it with a plan and under the analytic plan you can find that uh, two accounts will be uh, configured over here so once this is done what we have to do is that we just need to consider the uh, analytic budget so to create the analytic budget let's move on to the accounting and from there we can find the analytic budget so in this case i'm going to create the analytic budget of uh, 2025 home construction so currently you can see that it will be an open state if you want to set this into trap state you can just move on here so as we just move on to uh, open button you can see the budget will be moving from draft to the open state and here you can find the slight changes like we have the project and if you want to set other fields and all you can set that so we can just set the budget for um, uh, the home construction uh, so i'm setting the budget for home construction uh, that is 2000 and 9000 respectively 
Now here we can find the theoretical amount. So theoretical amount can be calculated using the equation that is the planned amount divided by number of days in the month. In this case, the uh, budget that we are planning in case of home construction is 2000. And you can just divide it uh, by the number of days that are available in the month of January. So 2000 by uh, 31 will be giving a result of uh, 64.51 and you can just multiply it with 100 and you will be getting the theoretical amount as 645.61 uh, over here by round, rounding off. Now, in this case of renovation, here we can see say that the planned amount or the budgeted amount is 9000. So, when you just uh, go with the um, calculation 9000 by 31, you will be getting a result of 290.322 uh, something and you can just multiply it with 100 and you will be getting a result of 2903 uh, over here. And you can also find the percentage which is uh, calculated over here. Now, um afterwards we just need to uh, plan uh, the expenses or bill over here so in order to do with this we also just need to consider the analytic distributions as well as the analytic account that we have used now let's move on to the um vendor bills and create a new bill for that you can choose the bill from there we can create a new bill by choosing the new button where you can fill out the details of the customer the customer is azure interior it is mandatory to set the bill date right now and we can set the bill date of today and afterwards we can choose the products i'm going to choose the product as cement so we want cement for the construction uh, of home so i'll be setting the amount as thousand five hundred over here and it is mandatory to change the account in this case so i'm going to change the account as home construction and we can also provide the project over here so i'm going to provide the project as home construction that is the analytic account and you can find this up total over here so once that's done you can uh, save this and uh, uh, if you want again uh, another material uh, over here like if you want cement over here or if you want to include uh, this in both um both projects you can you can also uh, set that so let me add multiple projects i mean if you want to add the uh, other project you can also do that by clicking on add a line so i'll be setting it as a uh, renovation and in this case we are just going to provide it as 50 percentage each and you can see how uh, the amount is affected so you can see uh, the amount that is divided okay that is the subtotal now let's see if this and confirm the uh, bill. So once you confirm the bill and I, as you just move on to the accounting and choose analytic budget, you can find the changes over here. And in this case, you can see the committed amount is 750. And in case of a renovation also, it's 750. And uh, you can see uh, the committed percentage is just turned as uh, 37 point. Uh, five and uh, the committed amount uh, for uh, i mean the committed percentage for the renovation is just turned as 8.33 now if you want to get the details and all you can easily get the details from this section and if you want to just get different uh fields like committed at uh, achieved and theoretical percentage you can just move on to the edge settings and you can just enable it from this section afterwards uh you can just mark it as uh, 10 over here and you can see we have just done with the budget and as you just move to the reporting here we have the budget report so let me move on to the budget report and under the budget report there are no open budget report and you can find the total amount that we have uh, taken for budget and the committed amount uh, and the amount that is used for home construction and renovation is given over here and that's how we just deal with the budget in Odoo 18 accounting. So Odoo 18 budget management empowers you to control your financial records. So I hope this video clarifies how to manage the budget in Odoo 18. And yeah, if you want Odoo customizations or Odoo tutorial videos, feel free to contact Cyprosis as always. Stay awesome and thank you for watching the video.